there's snow in the desert? That makes no sense. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back with Rails Unlimited on Roblox, and we are checking out two brand new locomotives. So yeah guys, I'm joined by River Preserver, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first locomotive we are checking out is the Super Scorcher, and this is a wonderful locomotive. You got the green and the red, and this is a Ferromax locomotive, and it actually originates from Mexico, which is really neat. We don't really see uh, any trains originating from Mexico in this game. The locomotive you're using right now is an SD70 ACEE from EMD, Electromotive Division. Now, let's see. Fairmax began operating on the 19th of February in 1998, following privatization for most of the government-owned railways. Fairmax operates over 9,610 kilometers, 5,970 miles of track, and interconnects with five major inland Mexican cities. Five cities along the border with the U.S., four seaports on the Pacific Ocean, and one more on the Gulf of Mexico. Alright, so this is what the horn sounds like on the locomotive. That's really neat. I haven't really heard that horn used in any other Rails Unlimited locomotive yet, so that's neat. So we are passing through Orion right now, and we have another locomotive, a commuter train, just above here, and that looks really nice. Hang on! I don't think we've ever reviewed this thing. Ever. Because I've never seen it before. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, too. Well, unfortunately, it is the end of this locomotive. There we go. And the gondola cars are falling off the edge oh, of yeah, the track. I, I, and there we go. Oh, here's the commuter train. Let me, let me, let me see. I, I can get a label on it. We can, we, I, can, I can see if we've reviewed it or not. Sun. Oh, dear. I think you, you've just... Alright, so the second locomotive we are checking out is the Ice Cold Express, and I'm really liking the paint scheme on this locomotive, or the design, you got the kind of icicle looking paint there as well, and you got the nice dark blue and light blue colors, along with the gray, so it really gives a cold feeling to it, well, a cold look, I should say. Not just is the look cold, so is the number, oh, and the bells! That is very fitting. How is there snow in the desert? That makes no sense. Well, it looks like the uh, the world has fallen victim to severe climate change, and the deserts are now snow-covered, uh, you know, ice biomes. I don't know. Tundras. Tundras, yeah. Well, you know what? I think this locomotive needs a nice deep plunge bath in the ice-cold river. Oh, yes. We need to uh, give it one heck of a washing. Yes. I that ice off somehow. Oh, I think the thing is going to get, like, completely, you know, solidified in ice. All aboard the Ice Block Express. I think the train is, inspire, is inspired by, by a lot of the refrigerated and or produce trains that you see. Like, say, the Union Pacific's produce train that runs out west. Uh-oh. End of the, of the line. line. And we're off the track and into the ice. Oh! You just oh. got run over. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.